Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And uh, yesterday or day before, I, I was showing how to use the blend tool to create this reef or kind of create the reef. And I, I said in that video that this is the hardest part of this whole thing. And somebody uh, questioned me on, or didn't question me, they sent me a question. If this is the hardest part, how do you do the other part? And actually, I was doing this type of reef or seal. This is a little bit different. But I, in just like four or five minutes, I recreated this pretty quickly. And then all you would have to do is put in the state of Texas. And, you know, I'm not going to, that's uh, text to path. And, and then you would have to uh, do this reef. And this one's a hard one because it's two different kinds. But this one can be done. I'd almost think this would be pretty easy because you can put these acorns in later but anyway so I'm gonna basically be doing both these seals at the same time so this is what it looks like and you can see this is the way it comes off the internet and this is the way mine looks good sharp clean lines so let's just take this one away for a minute let's group it together get it out of the way and if everybody knows or has watched my videos uh, I draw everything in the center of the page. So we're going to put, so what I did, I took our seal and put it in the center of the page. And I just drew hairlines on the outside. Looks like I've lost my inside line. That's easily corrected. We've got something going on. That state seal has got some stuff in the background. But anyway, so it looks like I've, I've lost my hairline in the middle. So all you do is just grab that hairline, make sure you got it so you back up, and then just control D, make you a duplicate, make the next one a little bit smaller, hit P on your keyboard. And this is why drawing uh, in the center of the page is quick and neat. So anyway, I've got that line, that line, and my two lines. And I, I would maybe take a little bit more time if I was doing the real getting these lines together. And you can already see that the star is in the center of the page, but a star is not really the center. So let's move him up. Now let's take our seal away and easily doing that. If you try to grab in here, you're only going to get circles and you'd spend a lot of time, uh, you know, range and order. But... You know, we've got some garbage on the outside, a box, so we can grab the box. So, well, I guess I actually did have that hairline in there. So, let's just get rid of one of these hairlines. Let's draw a circle. I thought I had one saved. I'm trying to make the video a little quicker. And tell you what, let's do this. Let's group this together for a minute so we won't mess anything up. Now we're going to draw a circle about the size we want. We're going to put it in the center of the page. We're going to put our nudge factor pretty high. Let's say a quarter of an inch. And we're going to run, run this up to this line until we get close. And we want to keep it in the center of the page. So we won't do anything but with our nudge factor. So let's go 0 0.001 and get it in the center between these two lines, you could have actually gone a little bit higher with your nudge factor for a second, but you want a little bit showing over there. Now this is where I think, and I'll back up, you didn't really need it the center. I was just doing that to get the size. So let's control D. And this is where the blend tool, tool really helps you. So let's lasso both those, go to effects, blend, and I, just did this a while ago, so I know it's 105. I tried 100 at first, and it was a little low. Now we want to set it to path. Well, let me back up here. Let's just back up, because what I need to do, I need another one of these for our path. So I'm gonna, I've got it all grouped together. Ungroup everything. Grab our line, bring it in, put P on the keyboard. So I'm a little bit 
you know, too big. That's about perfect. Now we can blend these together, go up to effects, blend. Let's go back to our 105, apply, set to put it to path, new path, and put your arrow right there. Rotate along full path. So 105 didn't work because my circle may be a little bit bigger. But this is what's so nice about this. While you've got this, let's change it to 98. Hit apply. Still too many. Let's go 90. My circle must be a little bit bigger than this one. Still a little bit big. Let's go 85. Still a little bit big. 80. And that might work. So let's do this. Let's color fill this right there. Nope. Well, it is going to work. That might even look better. Now we need to go to range, break path apart, ungroup all, grab our hairline and get rid of it. So you've done that. So I, I think my, Mine is a little bit closer, so you would want to use smaller circles. But for the video, I'm not going to redo it. So then you would just go and change this to a two-point black line. Change this one to a two-point black line. Now you've got that. Now our star is a star that is a little fatter. The, well, this one's probably a normal star over here, but the one that we're trying to reproduce is a little bit fatter of a star. So what you would do is put him on top of there, grab your shape tool, and just grab one of your nodes and come outward a little bit. And when you do that, all your nodes come out equally. So you get your fatter star, we don't need that anymore. So now how to get this effect in a, and I've done this on another video, but just real quickly, take your two point line. And when you see node to node, see your edge, you can't be on the, well, you can be, but don't get the edge, get the node. Node. Node, node, node. Then take your paint fill tool. And to make it look more like the star, then you would grab your star, your outline, make your outline. Let's go a point and a half and see what it looks like. And there you have basically this, and then you would do text the path, and I'm not gonna get in that because there's plenty of videos how to do that. But there again, this is the easy part. This is the hard part, but it can be done. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.